As I have talked about in some previous videos, we are never stuck anywhere. We always, no matter if we are a physical person or a spirit person, we always have the ability to grow in love and develop a relationship with the Creator. A main reason why people don't attempt to develop a relationship with the Creator is because they falsely believe that, like, at the end of their physical life, that wherever they are is where they're stuck. They're stuck there forever. That's not the case. We always have the chance to grow in love, okay? Now, let's say you're in a position where it's like, look, I don't know anything about God. I don't know who this God person is. I don't know what you're talking about. How do I get some of what you're talking about? Okay, well, it first starts with a sincere desire in yourself, okay? Desire is an aspect of our soul, okay? And through desire, we are always manifesting. You can think of it as like the core of our soul is our desire, and then all the little errors go over top of it. And so as our desire is pulsing out, manifesting, it's getting influenced by all these errors and distorting itself. But it's still attracting. So, we have the ability to direct our will towards God, okay? Our will to communicate with the Creator and develop a relationship, not to blindly do whatever some other being says, okay? The Creator being would like to see her children express their individuality in loving ways. That's why we have our own individuality. I know some people don't believe that, but it's the truth. Well, each person is a half soul. I'll talk about that in the future, okay? The complete soul has individuality. All right, so we can pray for God's love, okay? Now, if we don't know anything about God, if we have no relationship with God at all, okay, then that means that we are praying for not God's love, okay? Prayer is actually your soul's operation, your soul's normal operation. So going back to our example, what I'm talking about, you've got your desire here in your soul, right? And you've got all these little error bits and pieces covering it. And your energetic electromagnetic pulse is pulsing out. But all your little errors are, are changing the vibrations of your pulses, right? It's going all crazy like. That's your soul attracting events in order to get you to feel out your suppressed emotions to remove those errors so that you can, you know, better manifest and enjoy in loving experiences. Joy, bliss, pleasure, happiness. Now, that's not what people say. That's not, this is not what people mean when they talk about, oh, you should pray for God's love, okay? Well, let's think about it here. If your, if your soul operation is prayer, that means you're praying all the time, right? Yeah, that's right. We are praying all the time. That kind of fits with the notion of taking responsibility for every single thing you attract, right? That's a good thing, okay? Because once you start to recognize these principles, it's like, okay, like prayer isn't this like artificial thing where I like get down in a position and like recite some words. That's not prayer. Prayer is you having a longing for God in your soul. Now, if you don't have that, how do you get it? How do you start, right? Well, we've talked in a previous video about the difference between will and willpower. You can engage your willpower to experiment, okay? So, 
You can use your willpower to intend to grow in love, to facilitate an overwhelming emotional event. Now, the emotional event is what will change your soul. Like, literally, okay? Your soul is emotional material. As emotions flow out of you, they change the construction of your soul. So as you feel out your fear and you feel out your grief in any particular area, okay? And then match your view to the creator's view, then you start to, your prayer becomes even more powerful. And if you start structuring your life around developing a relationship with the creator, this will happen in a wild way. Okay? But the truth is we don't. We don't structure our lives to develop a relationship with the creator. Like, you, you think about it. As you, like, okay, when I get up in the morning, like this morning, I got up, walked around, you know, got loose a little bit, stretched out, you know, relieved myself. Then I thought about God. So, like, that just shows that I am not in constant communication with the creator being, okay? And that's okay. I recognize that with myself. But as you start having experiences, you start to realize, oh, I, you know, this, this amazing feeling that the creator being is sharing with me is available every second of your life. That's what being a Christ is. That's what being a celestial spirit is. The celestial spirits are Christified. Every feeling that comes from their soul is in harmony with the creator's view of love. And yet it also has individuality. Okay, now we've got blocks and resistance that keep us from feeling our emotions, okay? So this is why this is important, okay? Your willpower is a tool of your spirit body, okay? Remember, your will is your soul. So essentially, prayer is your will. Prayer is will. Will is prayer, okay? You are walking prayer. <laughs> yeah, you're a walking prayer. Okay, so if we recognize that, we can start to be honest with our addictions and our blocks and our resistance, you know? Be, don't be afraid, or I should say, you know, have the courage to face your fear about our false beliefs about love, right? You pick anything. Like, how about, how about political party? Party. Does that seem like a party you want to go to? It doesn't seem like a party I want to go to. Those are blocks and resistances. This is the way. My team. My side. I don't want to confront my own errors because guess what? The other side has more. Uh, we can't be perfect. So, you know, I'm just doing the best I can. Well, you know, if everybody believes that we can't be perfect, then at what point on the threshold do you say, okay, this is societally okay to stop attempting to be perfect? Because guess what? It's getting lower and lower, okay? We talked about evolution in another, another video. We're becoming more dense. I forgot to mention this. Density versus sensitivity. Density is devolution. Sensitivity is evolution. Okay? And we are, we are suppressing our emotions and becoming more dense. Okay? That's our blocks and resistances. I, this, this is a big one. Okay? There's lots of these. Future discussions. Okay? So, in conclusion... If you're not, if you don't have God's love coming to you all the time, then you are not at one with the creator, okay? Which, uh, you know, we're all far from that, okay? 
But if you're not getting it at all ever, then that means that your own soul doesn't want it or doesn't believe it's possible. So you need to engage our, your will power, which is part of your spirit body to say, I want to try some of that. Here's how it can look, okay? Practically, this isn't the only way. This is all about you experimenting and you developing a relationship with the creator. You can lay in your bed, sincerely, <sighs> humbly. Remember, humble is accept and own all your own emotions. Say, if there is a creator being and this being has love for me. If this being wants to show her love, I would like to receive some of it. See how that feels. You have to be sincere. You have to develop a desire, okay? So we're using our willpower first to engage our will, okay? Love and peace.